Hey besties, it's your girl Catherine. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I am trying to find my style, first of all. Let me be honest here before I do get into like more intro. This is the intro. Am I wearing this right? Is the turtleneck a thing? What are we thinking? I wore a turtleneck with the black one in another video and you guys really liked the outfit on me. But I got this vest thing at Ross for like $12.99 and I was trying to be like one of those girls because like vests are a thing now and I don't know if I like it or not. What are we thinking? Am I wearing this wrong? I don't know. I feel like I'm a floating head. Yes, that's what I think. But if I put my glasses on, I'm studious. I'm a student. I look like I'm going into the East Coast private schools. Maybe. A wannabe like. But I kind of like it. I'm not too sure. This is one of the things that I've actually hauled recently. <laughs> and today is a haul video, of course. I was going to do like a shop with me type of style video. And I know a lot of you guys like those type of videos. But I was with my friend Peggy for most of these shopping trips. So we were just living vicariously through the real life, not recording. Well, I kind of get shy a little bit to record still, but in front of people that I know. So I am going to show you guys everything I got. Some rare gems, I got some new things. Let's go ahead and get started. So we got stuff from Ulta, Amazon, Walgreens, because there's an exclusive perfume. So we're gonna start first with Ulta because I think every time you see like the orange bag, that's like the most iconic thing ever. I did also place another Ulta haul recently because Tree Hut had like 25% off like selected items there. So I wanted to take advantage of that and I did buy another perfume which that will be another haul one day. But I did get the Tree Hut Tropic Glow which I showed you guys in my Tree Hut collection. And I did get some lip products too. This one is actually from Walmart. This is the Cotton Candy Chapstick. I love cotton candy anything. It's one of my favorite imitation super sugary sweet fragrances. So I had to get this and it's also blue in the inside. It's pink. It smells just like cotton candy. Like no joke, it really does. I got the NYX Butter Gloss. One of you guys recommended the butter glosses to me because I've been on the hunt for some like new lip glosses. This one is in Madeline and this looks so good on my lips. It's so pretty. I got the Burt's Bees Red Dahlia. This was actually from Walgreens. Yes, and I had to get something to cover shipping costs and a lot of people said that this was like a good dupe to the Clinique lip product that's viral on TikTok, but this one also went viral. I don't know if it's because of my lip shape, but every time I try to overline my lips, it looks so bad. So there are videos that I have actually filmed like completely and my lips look like they have like little covered in lipstick and it looks so bad because of like the shape of my Cupid's bow. But I got this. I like, it's okay, it's, it's lightly tinted, it's not like the most greatest thing ever. And then I also got the e.l.f. lip lacquer in clear, it's just like a clear lippy. I just needed something to put over, this is what I'm wearing today. And I'm wearing um, a Revlon lip butter, which is a really old lip butter, and I have it over that. So that's what's on my lips today. I also got one skincare product too, the last thing in this Ulta bag, and this is the Corks. C-O-S-R-X Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. My skin has been crazy the last couple of months and so uh, you guys can't see but maybe you can see a little bit of hyperpigmentation but I heard this stuff goes amazing. I heard this has niacinamide and snail stuff in it. I'm gonna be quite honest with you guys. I don't really know what I'm putting on my skin but a lot of people said that this stuff is amazing so it's like an essence so I do have the glycolic acid toner from The Ordinary, but that one's really strong on me, so I've been trying to not use that as frequent and replacing it with this instead, but so far I kind of like it. I think it's doing something. I'll do two pumps and then kind of tap it on my skin rather than rubbing it. I'll like tap it, so that's, that's my thing. This was like $25. I have been trying to invest in my skin a little bit more, but there's that. Oh my goodness, you guys, let's go on ahead with the newest product I think that a lot of people have been hyping up on TikTok. I've been trying to get onto perfume TikTok because I've been wanting to get into perfumes and a lot of you guys were so sweet and giving me recommendations for perfumes and I have like this huge list that I want to like try out and smell. So thank you guys for all the recommendations and the perfumes because I'm starting to get into them and this is like the first full size one that I've gotten in a long time and this is of course Ariana Grande's Thank You Next 2.0 perfume. I think this was like $40, $35, 40 um, I ordered on Walgreens. My friend Peggy always keeps me up to date when they have like things in stock. And I love the packaging, first of all. I really wanna get the full size in cloud. 
maybe not cloud 2.0 but i do want to give a whiff of that first because i heard like either bad reviews of it but look at this it's so cute i don't know i i live for it it's amazing it's like a novelty thing but the notes to ariana grande's 2.0 is wild strawberry apple juice pomegranate middle notes white orchid jasmine and the base notes marshmallow musk and sandalwood and i wore this the other day actually and it does give me like the vibe of like cloud but like a fruity version of it i really like it a lot i think that this might be a nice scent for beginners who are getting into perfume like me if you want a fragrance to play it safe it's really nice you guys it's like the little sister of cloud in my opinion so I like this one a lot and I'm so excited that I got it another perfume I got was this one that was crazy viral on TikTok. I got this on Amazon for around like 10 to 15 dollars I don't remember but I'll link it down below this one is the pure instinct roll-on thing oh my gosh I'm so terrible with boxes no joke I wish I wasn't but I am this is like the pheromone unisex perfume oil I keep wearing fragrances all the time so I haven't actually used it on myself but I have used it on my boyfriend and I kid you not, right in the bottle, it smells like a light citrus, kind of like aromatic fragrance. It's not like super dank. It's a nice scent. And then I rubbed it on my boyfriend so I could say, oh, is this going to work? And then later on I smelled it's like, oh, I think it changes to your body chemistry. It might be gimmicky. I'm not sure, but it did smell really great on him. So I'm going to have to try it on myself and see how it goes there. Because apparently this stuff will like attract people to you. And I kind of want that. I want to see if this actually does something. So I got it because of TikTok. So there's another perfume thing that I got. Ooh, speaking of Amazon, I also got the Ardell Professional Naked Lashes. Oh my goodness, you guys. I have such a hard time when it comes to wearing eyelashes. And the first time I wore eyelashes in a long time in a video, someone was like, oh, they look so bad on you. I kind of had heartbreak, but it's okay because I did not know how to wear them correctly. But I did get a four pack of these amazing ones and these go so well with my asian eyes and these are the ardell naked lashes and they have like a nice thin band it's not like too thick and this is 421 i'll put them in the link below and i cut them in half actually and i'll put one side right here and then one side right here and they look so good mm -hmm. and they look so natural and it looks like i actually have lashes because my lashes are short and stubby so these are the best things in the entire world ulta did have these on sale too i might stock up and buy some more because these are the best they're so good following up we have another perfume that i actually bought from target and this is the soli notes tonka perfume and i was sniffing them because i know that Natalie Grace raves about Soli Notes and also Samantha Kim. They are the sweetest people out there. I'm so bad with boxes. Wow. And this one spoke out to me the most because of how nice it would be for the fall time. This was only $20. And I think that's a pretty good deal for like starter perfumes, by the way. Look at the bottle right here. Oh, it's so cute. I think it's really cute. This one just has Tonka Bean. And I had a vanilla one, but that one was too, like, imitation gourmand vanilla for me. So I was spraying this one. Wow. I need to, I need to, I need to cool it down because perfumes are really strong versus in, like, fragrance mist. This is, like, a nice, beautiful, like, sandalwood, almost warm, musky fragrance, but it's not too strong on the musk department. But it's so beautiful. I think this scent actually would go really well with this outfit. Mm, what are we thinking? I don't know, but I like this one a lot. So this is what I got I highly recommend if you want to get into perfumes and you want something a little bit nice and warm Especially for fall tonka bean try this one out because I it blew me away when I was in the store So I now have like three Perfumes I went to big lots. I had to get some things there I needed it to get a new shower curtain and shower liner because the old one we have is getting really gross and I'd rather just change it up and because that one has more of like a summer vibe I want to get more of like a fall vibe I want to give you guys a really great tip if you are moving in you're getting an apartment you're getting a new house and you don't really want to spend too much money on like shower curtains go to Big Lots they have them for so cheap I went to Target they're like $20 Walmart has them for like 10 to 15 but Big Lots clearance baby it's the best thing ever this shower curtain was only six dollars the shower liner was only 350 and this one has like this really cute fall color birds i'm not a really big bird person but i think it really fits like the cozy fall autumn colors and i really like that i also got these hooks because the hooks i have are really too hard because i have really sensitive like 
this right here not arthritis not purple tunnel but it's something like around that so i've been wanting to change them out so i can clean my shower liner and bathroom a lot easier so we got those but i was in there and i was browsing around with peggy all right me and peggy and i were just chilling we we're just like going through there it was hot they didn't have the ac on okay big lots thanks but i got this i was like whoa i'm so surprised they had this this is the dove exfoliating body polish and crushed lavender and coconut milk <gasps> First off, this was only $4.50 and a lot of people have been like price gouging this because it's so rare because they have discontinued this. This is a blessing disguise. Ah, oh my goodness, you guys. First off, it's purple. Mm-hmm. It's so cute. Oh, it has like a really strong lavender fragrance too. So if you have been eyeing this and you saw all the hype about in the beginning of the year, if you don't really like strong lavender, you probably won't like this, but as a collector and an enthusiast in body care, I was like, yes, please. I was asking Peggy if she wanted this. She's like, oh no, it's way too strong for me. So I got it. I'm so happy. It's probably best hidden gem thing I found in a long time when it comes to like shopping at like secondhand stores like TJ Maxx, Ross, things like that. Hey, it's Mendy here on YouTube. And also she has an Instagram, which she, I love her Instagram photos are amazing. It's self care. I'll link her, I'll link all the people I mentioned down below. She got this right here and I was so intrigued to get it. This is from Marshalls. I got this at Marshalls and this was $10.99. It's the Philosophy Vanilla Chocolate Crumble body wash and you guys i love philosophy body washes so much they foam so well because it's like a three-in-one thing like you can use it for a shampoo and for bubble bath and you guys first off the cap the cap's a little open that's okay Ugh. it smells like a chocolate graham cracker to me it smells so good i've been eyeing this one it almost has like a buttery undertone to it as well peggy got one that was a pink animal cracker i was like yes get that one because they also had vanilla birthday cake though i got this one and she got that and i was so excited to finally get my hands on it because we were went to the different side of town this time around so that is everything i bought for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and not too sad that i didn't buy more than i could have bought but i'm trying to not buy too many things but when it comes to like these type of rare beauty products i can't not buy it so there's a problem with me when it comes to that so yeah um <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed today's video please let me know what you guys have bought recently what you guys want to see next if you have any video ideas leave them in the comments down below i want to get back into filming i have been in a crazy rut in the past week so that's why we're here yeah we're here i'm looking forward to reading your guys comments i missed you guys so much and i hope you guys have an amazing week day night and i will talk to you guys later bye mm -hmm.